Hello everyone. It's Crystal. Today is Wednesday. It's hump day. December 30th, 2020. We're here for another another edition of our JJ21 preview. I hope everyone is doing well today. 2020 is almost over. I hope everybody is processing that and getting ready for a new year. New opportunities, new experiences, just something new. 2020 is this time to go. So today we are going to be featuring the Handmade For You stamp set. It's in the, as you know, it's in the January to June 2021 mini catalog. When I first saw this, cat saw this stamp set, I was excited because I do sewing and quilting and all manner of crafts. So I, this made my list from the beginning. These are the rubber stamps, red rubber stamps. There are 10 stamps in this set. There's this dress form, which is very nice. I use my scan and cut to cut out the dress form. I'll talk more about that later. Then you have a flower with some leaves as a little flourish. Stitch with love, hashtag made it, copyright stamping up. Hashtag handmade, crafters gonna craft, craft queen, handmade for you, and some scissors with some leaves, and then it says copyright stamping up on the bottom. So these are the stamps. The stamps come as one big rectangle, and these are the labels that go on the stamp. And I just usually just I st recently I started keeping this paper so so that um, the stamps can just stay on the paper because if it sticks on here it's going to be difficult the, this plastic case is going to be difficult for me to pull up the stamp when I want to use it so this that's just a tip if you buy some rubber stamps and you put the label on it this label is very sticky so keep this paper this carrier sheet for your stamp set. So those are the stamps. This is the actual size of the stamps, very good size. And I actually made seven cards because I'm going to use the cards that I made, the samples that I'm going to show you today. I'm going to um, use the cards and make other cards in the future to send out when I, if I sell a quilt, if I give a quilt away, if I make something for someone, I'm going to use the stamp set. And I I incorporated the Peaceful Moment stamp set into the cards I made because if I make, a, make something for someone and say, for example, is for a baby shower, I would use congratulations because there's a new baby coming or happy birthday or thank you. Sometimes I make things for people as a thank you for doing something for me. And these sentiments go well with me giving something to, giving something handmade to someone. So I use this stamp set also to, to supplement this one. This is the Handmade For You stamp set is in the January to June 2021 mini catalog. The Peaceful Moment stamp set, I have my note here, is in the annual catalog. It's on page 19. So if you're interested in the Peaceful Moments catalog, Peaceful Moments stamp set, check the annual catalog, the Stampin' Up! annual catalog on page 19. So with that out of the way, we get to my cards. I made seven cards for this. I was really excited when I, when I started playing around with the stamp set. So... Let's get started here. This is our first card. Stitched with Love. That's from The Handmade For You. 
I used the Bryce, this designer series paper. I previously did an unboxing. Well, not really an unboxing, a reveal, I guess is a better word for this paper. If someone decides to join Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator during celebration, in addition to the, the starter kit and some business supplies that Stampin' Up! sends you, you can get five packs of paper. Each pack of paper has 40 sheets in it. So that's 200 sheets of designer series paper. There are five color families for Stampin' Up. There are the brights. These are the brights. That's my favorite color family. That's why I wanted to use this designer series paper for my cards today. The brights, the neutrals, regals, subtles, and in color. For the in color, each, the brights, the neutrals, the regals, and the subtles have 10 colors. So there are four sheets of each color. There are two different designs, two sheets of each paper. The in color family for the 2020 to 2022 in color family has five colors. So there are eight sheets in that, eight sheets of each color in that pack. But there are 200 sheets of paper, six by six designer series paper that you get as a bonus if you join Stampin' Up! during celebration. I can't, there, I showed you all all 200 of 200 sheets of the designer series paper i'm going to show you the brights today again before i get to my card so you recognize the paper the designer series paper i used in my cards so this is melon mambo that's melon the melon mambo these are my scraps from my cards melon mambo ink so that's melon mambo and then there are that paper and then there's that design so all the papers have these designs that and then that so all the colors have that so then so that's melon mambo this is Poppy Parade. This is Daffodil Delight. There are 10 colors in. That's the ink pad that matches. This is Coastal Cabana. I didn't use this paper for my projects. But here's the stamp set that goes with it. This is Gorgeous Grape. And there's the stamp pad that coordinates with that. Then we have Bermuda Bay. And there's the stamp pad. Then I have Mango Melody. I've been using this a lot, so I have a lot of different scraps. I think this is my only my last full sheet. And that's on the back. This one and that. Pacific Point. I only have this and some scraps. Flirty Flamingo. So there are a lot of things you can, a lot of projects you can do with this designer series paper. And once again, you cannot, you cannot buy this paper if you join Stampin' Up! during celebration. January 5th to February 28th, you would get five packs of paper. This is just one family, but there are a total of 200 sheets of designer series paper, just like this, but in each different color family. This is Granny Apple Green. And then we're back at the beginning. So I decided to use the brights for my projects, my cards today, because the brights, as I mentioned, are my favorite color family. 
and I'm going to be making a lot of these cards. Sending, making a lot and sending them out with my different fabric, my fabric uh, projects. So here we have our first card. This is Pacific Point cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I used Gorgeous Grape, Mango Melody, and then another Pacific Point. My little dots here are from the all the trimmings embellishments. This is in the August to December 2020 mini catalog. This is retiring. It's actually half price right now. I bought about two or three packages. I've had this one. I bought two or three packages when I saw that they were going on clearance. They were 50% off. So I used the white ones here. This is my dress form in Poppy Parade. Stitch with Love. I used the... Stitch So Sweetly dies. I used this die for the Melon Mambo layer. This is the Melon Mambo layer. And for the Whisper White layer, I used that die right there. So my dress forms. I'll explain what I did. I took a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I stamped out this dress form in a couple different colors. Like here's an example. And then I took it, I scanned it into my, my scan and cut. I have a brother scan and cut. And I added an outline distance and then I cut it out. And then I also took the same dress form. I added a larger outline distance and then I cut it out of this uh, this cardstock so I can layer like that. So I'm going to mix and match. I have a whole, as you see, I have a whole bag of them. Uh, and since I saved, I saved this size with this outline distance into my scan and cut. So whenever I need a layer for the dress form, I can just cut out as many as I need because there, there's no punch. There's no dies that goes with this set so i had to break out my scan and cut so if you have a scan and cut or some kind of other yes you need to have a scan and cut because you need to scan this image into your machine and the scan and cut is the only electronic cutting machine that has a built-in scanner so that is how i did this so i have plenty left over and i can make a lot of layers for my dress form and actually scanning it and cutting them out on my scanner cut, I was able to cut out, I think I had 18, 18 or 21 on my paper, on my cardstock. Scanned it in, set my outline distance, and it was cut, all the pieces were cut under two minutes. So that's something to keep in mind. Whenever you have an image and you don't have a punch or a die, if you have a brother scanner cut, that can help you with your projects. So that's the outside of the card. The inside of the card, this is this is Whisper White cardstock, four by five and a quarter. Hashtag made it. This is in Bermuda Bay, handmade for you. That is in Poppy Parade. So let me know if you have any questions <clears throat> about the cards, about the ink about the designer series paper the bonus paper it's our second card this is daffodil delight cardstock eight and a half by five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter this designer series paper is pacific point i use my stitch shapes dies All right stitch shapes yes i used I used that oval for the Poppy Parade layer. And then I used this oval for the Whisper White layer. These, these dies come in handy. When 
next next year next week same thing i guess i'm going to order some more stitch shapes from the catalog that is in the annual catalog then i have my all the trimmings in the poppy parade and stitch with love is stamped out in gorgeous grape and then i just did sentiments on i just did these on the bottom because i want to have the space to write out a, a note to go with whatever project I'm sending in the mail. So these these cards were extra quick because I didn't have to think about a sentiment and stamp it out and see, you know, placement and everything. So just to, this is the same. Just keep it blank inside so I can write a personal note. Our third card is happy birthday. This is Poppy Parade cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This is a melon, mango melody. This designer series paper, four by five and a quarter. And then I have this, this strip of gorgeous grape. This was a scrap from another card. This is probably a half an inch, three quarters of an inch by four. And then I have my all the trimmings dots here. Happy birthday is in gorgeous grape on Whisper White cardstock. And this, I still, I use the, yes, I use the largest circle for the, for the, the Pacific point. And then I used this circus two circles smaller so I can have a big outline and then I just did it off center just to give some visual interest to the card I like combining all these colors the, the brights are nice and cheerful and happy and inside once again handmade for you stitched with love and I left it blank so I could write a personal note for happy birthday. Congratulations, Granny Apple Green cardstock. Five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We have the Poppy Parade designer series paper. Then I have one of my dress forms. This is in Coastal, <coughs> excuse me, Coastal Cabana. My layer is the Mango Melody. I use the Hippo and Friends dies for the congratulations and the congratulations is in Gorgeous Grape on Whisper White. I use this second size die for the Pacific Point and I use the smaller die for the Whisper White. And then I have my embellishments there. Once again, handmade for you and hashtag made it. Next card is just a stitch with love. So it can just, I guess it could be a thank you card if somebody bought a quilt from me or something or bought some kind of item from me. I can use it a lot of different ways. This cardstock is called Crumb Cake, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I use the Bermuda Bay Designer Series paper. This is the, the Bermuda Bay is four by five and a quarter, and I just added these strips on top. They were they were scraps from other cards, so nothing goes to waste. This is the Stitch So Sweetly dies. The Pacific Point is cut out with this die. And then the Stitch With Love on the white is cut out with this die. Just to add some more color to the front of the card. And the inside, hashtag handmade, hashtag made it. Next card is a thank you card. This is Daffodil Delight cardstock, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. This is Gorgeous Grape Designer Series paper, 
four by five and a quarter. And then this strip is a quarter inch of Poppy Parade. I have my embellishments here. Same embellishment pack. Thank you. Whisper White Cardstock with Gorgeous Grape. And then the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I use this die to cut out that shape. Handmade. So hashtag made it and then handmade for you. And then our final card is a fun fold card. This is four and a quarter by 11. I scored it at five and a half and then I flipped it over and scored it at two and three quarters of an inch. Two and three quarters of an inch is half of five and a half. So once again, four and a quarter by 11. Scored it in the halfway mark, like I usually do, five and a half. And then right here, I flipped it over because the folds are going in different directions. You don't, technically, you should fold it over just so you can get a better fold. But if you forget to fold it, if you forget to flip it, it's not a big deal. Five and a half, two and three quarters. So the outside, this designer series paper is four by two and a half. I have my embellishments here, all the trimming still. I use my oval. Stitch with love, this oval. It's stamped in Pacific Point. The Poppy Parade oval is cut out with this die. And then I decided to just throw in this circle just to give it a little bit more, more visual interest. And then I have another piece of designer series paper here, two and a half by four. And then this is four by five and a quarter. Hashtag handmade is in Pacific Point. Hashtag made it is in Granny Apple Green. So there's a lot that you can do if you also sew or quilt or do any kind of handmade or crafts. This stamp set is great to supplement if you're going to make cards to send out with your with the crafts that you make. I hope this was helpful. Hope you got inspired to get the handmade for you stamp set. You could also just do like instead of supplementing if you don't have the peaceful moment stamp set instead of making a card like this you can this all all of the sentiments came from the handmade for you and that leaves you space to write write a personal note to the person who's going to receive the card and the item that you're going to send so thank you for watching i will see you tomorrow tomorrow we are doing Another item that is in the JJ21 catalog. Have a good night and happy crafting.